guys, I'm Dr. Andy. Today what I want to do is I want to go through a quick five minute workout routine. Now this workout routine is specifically designed for, for beginners, people that want to kind of get started at home, do something easy and simple in about five minutes. So I'm going to lead you through five different exercises. We're going to be doing each one for about a minute, all right? And again, this is for beginners, right? So that first exercise, the first minute, I want you to be doing push-ups, okay? So push-ups, I want you to keep your elbows in, all right? So a lot of people, when they think they push-ups, they, they think elbows out. Do as much as you can, keep those elbows in. Now, if you start at three push-ups in a minute, I don't care, that's fine. We always want to improve, however. So if, if we start at three, hopefully within a month we're at 10. If you start at 10, let's get to 20 to 30 in a minute. That would be fantastic, right? That's our first exercise, and that is a push exercise. We're going to have a push, a pull, a hinge, and a squat, okay? And we're going to have one extra as well in there, okay? But those are four core movements that you need to be able to have to gain some good strength, okay? So push up to begin with. The second exercise that we're going to do for a minute is bent over rows, okay? That's a pull exercise. So I've got a kettlebell here. They're not very expensive. You can pick them up at Walmart, but goodness gracious, you can go into your, your kitchen and get like a five gallon, or excuse me, a gallon of milk and do the exact same thing. It's gonna weigh a couple of pounds, okay? So you're going to lean over, okay? And you can support yourself with, with, with your hand on your knee if you need to. So if you're gonna do your left side, the left leg goes back, right leg comes forward. And when you do these, keep your elbow in. Same thing, uh, you know, for the push-ups, don't have them, the elbows go out. Keep the elbow in. You're gonna bend over, and then all you're doing is squeezing. Don't do too much, you know, bicep. I want you to kind of be able to work these lats and, and the rhomboids in the back. And you pull and you squeeze in between those shoulder blades each time you do it. 10 on each side, okay? That is the second exercise. The third exercise I want you to do is a kettlebell swing, right? This is gonna be a Russian kettlebell swing. What that means is we're gonna go to shoulder height, not way up above your head, all right? This is a hinge movement. Put a little bit of a bend in your knee, okay? Hold the kettlebell like this, a little bit of bend in the knee, push the butt back a little bit, kettlebell comes up, squeeze your glutes, push your hips forward, and bring the kettlebell to about your shoulders and then back down. And it's just a simple swing movement. All right, that's a kettlebell swing. The next thing you're going to do for one minute is a goblet squat. Hold the kettlebell like so, wrapping your hands around the big heavy part. All right, not the handle. Thumbs can go around the handle. All right. A, th uh, a squat position is feet out a little bit, feet kind of point away a little bit. If you have them straight forward, when you come forward, your knees are going to come in. We don't want that. So aiming the feet out a little bit, a little bit wider than your hips, hold this kettlebell out in front of you, and then you go down into a squat, keeping your back as straight as you possibly can. Now you get as low as you possibly can, obviously. We want a squat where your hips go below your knees. All right, so go below parallel with the floor. If you can't get that low, that's fine. Work on some stretching and some mobility to get that low, okay? That right there is your goblet squat. Lastly, we are going to do lunges, okay? So lunges for one minute, maybe 10 on each side, okay? The important thing about a lunge is to keep your back upright. So you can do it simply down, Switching legs, back and forth, right? If you need help to keep your back nice and upright, grab a dowel, grab a piece of PVC pipe, and you wrap that behind your back, and you hold it behind your back. And your job is to keep that glued to you at all times so it doesn't move, and your head in contact with it. So you go down, and up. 10 on each side, okay? That is an awesome five-minute routine. If you have any questions, send them our way. Um, if you're looking for other exercises because some of those don't work for you, same thing. Send some questions our way. Always remember to live with passion and not pain.